where can I get a bridge community? I'm serious. Everybody's going to be freaking out. So we're already seeing our stats climbing. Uh, but uh, by the end of the year, they're going to be just like through the roof. They're going to be like 10 times what they are now. Because people will finally see that the old way of doing things is failing. Uh, this old way, th this idea of we can take as much of God's property from the earth and exploit it and use it for our own sense gratification and then engage others and exploit them in making all these products and, and uh, consuming all of these resources and, and we'll get just lots of wealth out of that. That whole paradigm is failing. It's actually already failing, but most people haven't woke up yet. They haven't seen the writing on the wall. But by the end of this year, it's going to be very clear to everybody what's going on. And there's going to be a huge mass movement towards spiritual communities, and we're going to be right in the middle of it. So we uh, want everyone, all of our students, to get very fixed up very knowledgeable, very pure, very committed, and to cleanse all your doubts. I don't mean suppress your doubts. I mean cleanse your doubts by bringing them out, putting your questions on the forum, putting your questions on the chat, huh? asking the, the things that you need to know to have full confidence to move ahead with this program. Because we're going to, there's going to be a tremendous need for community focalizers. There's going to be a tremendous need for spiritual teachers. There's going to be a tremendous need for spiritual-oriented business managers, spiritual-oriented administrators, teachers, all kinds of things. We have a tremendous need. That's why we created all these courses in the university to train these people up. And we haven't even graduated a single person from the Bhakta course yet. Huh? We got to get moving. This is a, a it's got to be a top priority crash program. I'm serious. Or we're going to be overwhelmed and we're going to find ourselves in the position of having to turn a lot of people away because we won't be able to help them. We won't be organized enough. We won't be together enough. We won't have enough people to help us manage all the growth in the website. Uh, uh, and it's unfair that me and, and my uh, direct disciples here should take all of that work. It's too much for us. It's too much for me. I'm getting tired. I'm going to have to take a break soon. After we finish this uh, section on Anartas, after the next few days, I'm going to have to take like, I don't know, two weeks off or something like that of doing this every day, every day preaching. Uh, because I have to get ready to like, you know, pull up roots and travel to the other side of the planet. <laughs> that takes a lot of energy. So uh, we need your help. We, we need you to become fixed up. We need you to become trained up. We need you to understand how we do things. The way we do things on the site, for example, the format of the posts, the, the way we insist that everybody upload their pictures and stuff like that, this all has reason behind it. And that reason is based on our extensive experience in online preaching. It's not arbitrary. It's not just because we think that's a nice way to do it. No, it's based on trying this and failing, and trying that and failing, trying something else and failing. And then finally we try this other thing and, oh, we get a little bit of success, so we keep that. And then we try something else and that fails, and on and on, until we find, one by one, all the little pieces that work. You see? And that process is still going on. And we have to be free, when I say we, I mean me and Uddhava and the other devotees here in the ashram. We have to be free to brainstorm 
and put our heads together and try all these different things. See, if we're caught up in the day-to-day -day routine administration of the site, it makes it very hard for us to advance. And if we get overwhelmed, that means the quality of the preaching is going to suffer, and that's too much. We can't have that. So you all, you students, need to get through your bhakta programs and enrolled in bhakti shastri because that's where the real knowledge is. Huh? Most, most of you are hung up on the study course. And I knew this would happen uh, because we have so much emotional charge on wrong education that it's very hard to get through the study course. But somehow or other, you have to grit your teeth, get out that dictionary, and get through it. If you need to re retread your English grammar, you know, there's so many sites, you can go back and do it. Huh? Because you're going to need those chops to learn the next course. You think the next course is going to be easier? No, it's going to be harder. And the one after that's even harder. Wait till you have to learn uh, economics. <laughs> Wait till you have to learn management psychology. Uh, these are, this is all part of our courses. So if a, a, a student who actually gets through these courses is going to be very, very qualified, much more than the typical minister or doctor or psychologist or administrator, or what to speak of politicians, uh, you know, in their business, mediocrity is a job qualification. But uh, when, when we graduate a student, that person is going to be actually qualified according to the real Vedic standards. Okay? So uh, they're going to be able to go off and start a community in anywhere they want. And it will be uh, perfect according to the Vedic standards. This is what we want. This is what we demand of our students. So. Hit the courses. Get through the Bhakta course. Huh? Put your doubts, put your questions on the forum so that we can address them. Huh? Do it now so that we can clear up all this stuff before we get to the rock and roll in, in August. August is going to be crazy. We're going to be traveling all over the world. We're going to be mobile. We're going to be staying at different people's houses. We're going to be like setting up in India. We're going to be like... Whew, it's going to be wild. Uh, so uh, please, let's get this together. Let's get organized. We need more focalizers. We need focalizers who can actually do the job of focalizer, not who just say, I'm a focalizer, and then don't do anything. Uh, we need people who can actually get something going, get, get people organized and inspired, and manage these groups nicely and go out and invite people from the geographic area. Or you start a special interest group in something like, uh, who started that music group? Was that you, Ananda? Bart? Yeah, he started, and we haven't posted anything. Just one video. Video and uh, Subta Swara. Subta Swara. Well, there's more material that I'm going to post. And I have uh, also a couple of videos. Yeah? I, I will show it to you. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's very good. So we, we need to have groups that are special interest oriented, and we also need groups that are geographical oriented. Huh? And those hopefully will evolve into actual physical communities. At least that's our plan. Uh, we've never done this before, but we're going to try because we want to save as many people as possible. Things are going to get really crazy late this year and next year. I mean, they're actually already really crazy. Huh? What you see on the media and all like that is a complete fabrication. It has nothing to do with reality. Huh? Television, the media in general, but especially TV and the news and like that, is just, just like, you know, it's artificial reality. It's not real. And uh, this is all going to come out. Very, if you don't understand this already, by the end of this year, you're going to say, hey, hey, Babaji was right. <laughs> well, yeah. We've been researching this for a long time. And when we say there's going to be an ontological crisis, uh, 
we're in the actually in the beginning of it, or we've been in it now for the last two or three years. An ontological crisis where the things that we count on for the meaning of our existence are actually changing beyond our ability to describe or understand them. You have to know this Vedic knowledge, otherwise you're going to be overwhelmed by the velocity of change. The acceleration of change is increasing more and more. The acceleration is itself accelerating. Double exponential change. It's just going to get so hairy and so wild. Uh, so please take this esoteric teaching very seriously and get fixed up in it and uh, uh, learn as much as you can, practice as much as you can, and let's make a nice community. Let's make communities all 